This week's conversation is going to be about how Breath of the Wild 2 might in fact be a sequel to Twilight Princess. Let's get it. Hey, how's things going? Welcome to Zelda Theory. This YouTube channel is 100% focused on the best video game series of all time, The Legend of Zelda. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell notification for weekly Zelda videos. Every single one of you means the absolute world to me, so I truly thank you for being a part of our weekly conversations here at Zelda Theory. Also at the end of this video, be sure to stay after our conversation to check out the description below this video to see links and recommendations to other Zelda content and conversations we've had up to this point. So you probably clicked on this video and was thinking, man, this dude is on some serious crack or something for thinking Breath of the Wild 2 is a sequel to Twilight Princess. Well, maybe or maybe not. I could be. <laughs> totally kidding, but on a real note, I could have some serious valid points that you may want to reconsider. Be sure to let me know in the comments what your opinion is on the video, as you all know very well that I'm definitely down there responding to you all. The only real information we have received as far as the sequel to Breath of the Wild goes is that it's in development and that it's going to be more on the darker side of things. For those that don't know, Twilight Princess follows the franchise hero Link as he embarks on an insane journey to save Hyrule from being destroyed by its alternate dimension known as the Twilight Realm. What I really enjoyed about Twilight Princess is that it did a complete 360 and allowed Link to transform into a literal wolf. Accompanied by a companion by the name of Minda, the two eventually take on the stereotypical dungeons of the series and end up facing the game's boss called Zant. Which eventually turns out that Ganondorf himself was behind everything from the beginning. I mean, obviously, right? Every single one of the characters I just mentioned have a doppelganger, if you will, in the trailer to Breath of the Wild 2, which could theoretically mean that the upcoming sequel could have some interesting similarities to Twilight Princess. Now, easily one of the most obvious points of similarity here is the mummified corpse that we all have been speculating to be Ganondorf himself. The body we see in the trailer is wearing the classical Gerudo clothing that we all see throughout the Zelda games, which honestly is crucial to Ganondorf's history as he is the only male Gerudo that has been born to this specific race in the last 100 years. Maybe even more, we honestly don't know. I mention the mummy person slash Ganondorf because honestly, who else could this be? To further drive my point home, the headpiece we see on the body in the trailer is almost the exact same one we see on the Ganador from Twilight Princess, with the most noticeable feature being the yellow gem in the center. The trailer also shows Malice leaking from the chest of the body. This is the exact spot where Ganador was stabbed in Twilight Princess. When you look at things this way, does it still seem like I'm on something when I theorize that Breath of the Wild 2 could potentially be a sequel to Twilight Princess? Furthermore, the trailer also hints at the return of the Twilight, a race of beings which inhabit the Twilight Realm. The beam of blue-green energy that is seen throughout the trailer has really only been seen in Twilight Princess, as the energy stems straight from the Twilight Realm. Twilight are specifically the only beings known to have the ability to use this kind of magic. Given that the symbols seen in the energy also closely resemble the glyphs that the Twilight use, it's possible the energy is directly casted by someone from the Twilight Realm. Some are theorizing that the individual in question could be Zant, one of the main antagonists in Twilight Princess, especially since the reverse synth music in the trailer resembles his original boss music. Given how critical the relationship between Ganon and Zant is it's possible Zant could play a direct role in freeing the Demon King. For Breath of the Wild 2 to have a connection to Twilight Princess, the two would need to exist in the same timeline. The Legend of Zelda is notorious for its complicated chronology that is seemingly changing every few months. Nintendo originally stated that Breath of the Wild exists at the end of all the timelines and so it's possible for it to act as a convergent point. If that's not the case, evidence for Breath of the Wild 2 could place it somewhere along the child timeline where it would have a direct lineage with Twilight Princess. Seeing as Zelda games are rarely released in chronological order, 
This could be a massive possibility. Now, given Legend of Zelda's deeply rooted and complex in-game history, anything is potentially possible at this point, especially since fans are still debating whether Breath of the Wild should exist at the end of the canon timelines. Breath of the Wild 2 may end up leading to the creation of a fourth separate timeline altogether, with how little we actually know at this point in time. Now to see more Zelda content, click on either of the videos coming up on the screen now to continue our Zelda conversations. Remember to like the video, subscribe, and write a comment down below in the comment section on what Zelda videos you would like to see in the future. Talk soon. Thank you.